Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, is preparing for a big milestone with Princess Charlotte that she was forced to miss with Prince George. With the summer holidays drawing to a close it is almost time for Prince George to go back to school, but he won't be alone. As George starts year two, his younger sister Princess Charlotte will be joining him at big school. The young royal will be starting reception next week at Thomas's Battersea. Back in 2017 when George had his first day, he was seen being dropped off by just Prince William. Kate was nowhere to be seen because she was too poorly to drop off her first-born child. She was unable to drop off George with her husband as she was pregnant with Prince Louis and suffering severe morning sickness. At the time, a palace spokesperson said, Unfortunately the Duchess of Cambridge remains unwell, and will not be able to accompany Prince George on his first day of school. The Duke of Cambridge will drop off Prince George this morning as planned. Reports suggest there is no way the Duchess will be missing the milestone this time around with her only daughter. She is expected to do the school run with George and Charlotte on Thursday September 5th. Kensington Palace will most likely release official portraits of Charlotte in her uniform, like they did with George two years ago, to mark the family occasion. George wore his uniform of shorts, a light blue polo shirt and a blue v-neck jumper emblazoned with the school's emblem. A few weeks into the school term, Prince William revealed his son was enjoying school but hadn't quite realized he had to go every weekday. Kate and William have endeavored to give their children a normal upbringing, which means doing the school run as often as they can. The Daily Mail revealed Kate dropped George off at school just one day after giving birth to Louis in April 2018. One parent noted, no one really gives Kate a second glance when she does the school drop off. We have a Victoria's Secret model doing the school run, too, and the dads are far more interested in her. The report also added William once turned up unannounced to a get-to-know-you coffee morning. The private school costs roughly £6,110 a term and is attended by both boys and girls between the ages of 4 and 13. The school has a focus on the arts, sports and outdoor activities as well as academics. Once Prince George reaches 13, he will begin to look for another school and may attend the boys' public school Eton College, as his father and uncle Prince Harry did before him. Meanwhile, Princess Charlotte could follow in her mother's footsteps and attend Marlborough College. A royal insider said, The Cambridge kids are really lively. Clearly the kids are having fun. They called Prince William a very modern dad, and added Kate was a great mother. Kate and William's youngest child, Prince Louis, was born in April 2018. When Prince George started at Thomas's Battersea in September 2017, only Prince William was there to drop him off as Kate Middleton was suffering from morning sickness. Princess Charlotte will have a huge support system with her as she embarks on her first day of school. The four-year-old royal will put on her new uniform and backpack to join Prince George at Thomas's Battersea next Thursday. Not only will she have her big brother, Six, to show her the robes, but Kensington Palace just announced that parents Kate Middleton and Prince William will accompany Charlotte on her big day. When Prince George started at the $23,000 per year private school some three miles from the family's Kensington Palace home in September 2017, only Prince William was there to drop him off. Although Kate was expected to join her son for the important milestone, she was forced to cancel her plans due to acute morning sickness she was suffering during her pregnancy with Prince Louis. Hyperemesis gravidarum also afflicted Kate during her previous two pregnancies. Unfortunately the Duchess of Cambridge remains unwell, and will not be able to accompany Prince George on his first day of school. The Duke of Cambridge will drop off Prince George this morning as planned, a spokesperson said in a statement at the time. Prince George flashed a big smile at home while holding hands with his father for an official first day of school portrait. However, nerves appeared to take over as the uniform-clad prince made his way into the school, shyly shaking hands with the head of Thomas's lower school, Helen Haslam. However, a source previously told that the future monarch is very happy at his school, 
where he is simply known as George Cambridge. In addition to course subjects like math, English, science and history, students are taught an era of enrichment classes, including French, computing, drama and ballet. Prince William says George loves his ballet classes. Princess Charlotte may also experience first day jitters, but sources say the outgoing royal, who previously attended Wilcox Nursery School, is thrilled. She can't wait to be with George at big school, an insider previously told. She is so excited about it all. They are close in age, and they spend so much time together, adds the insider. Playdates, with outsiders, can be tricky, so they learn to lean on each other. Charlotte, also called Lottie by her family, is very sweet and very confident, she's always chatting away, a source previously told. The source also revealed that talkative toddler has another talent too, she speaks some Spanish. Nanny Maria Turian Barrello is from Spain. Those skills will come in handy during her first year at Thomas's Battersea. In the reception year children will play and explore, make choices and learn to have a go and persevere, be creative and solve problems, form good relationships, be safe, secure and happy, according to the school's website.